Well, happy Sunday evening, everybody. I gotta do a quick update, right quick. Uh, nothing going on. Just was waiting on somebody to jump on to a live stream, but I guess they changed their mind, which is all right. It's no problem. But anyway, this is a. Uh, I want to say I think this is number two update on my Martin Zeller tribute build. So I got the body painted with the help of a. Uh, group of people asking questions and yeah got some good input uh, first off this is not the same exact same color that Martin used on his Nova I couldn't find it uh, I did find a green but it's a pretty good one yeah yeah green flash anyway mind you I lucked out on this time. It's all I can say. It had to have been. I've never, never airbrushed acrylic. Let me think. Well, folk art acrylic. Uh, I did, I believe, I think it was on Terry's uh, Hobby Barnes build. I might have, uh, I think I did. Where was that? Crap, one of these up here. I, I messed with one of those. Uh, one of the Tamiya paints, acrylic. They were very easy. I just popped in some acrylic thinner, looked like milk, went with it, and it worked good enough. Uh, this, yeah, this is different. This, if I, yeah, gloss and metal. Yeah, metallic. So it's got metal pigments and all that crap in it. So a little bit, a little bit harder to mix than that simple acrylic paint. Well, needless to say, it turned out pretty good. I must say, I'm very happy with it. Uh, like I said, I, I feel like Charlie Mack. Yeah, not as glossy. I can tell you that this is not as shiny. Uh, as his was, of course, his Tamiya, Tamiya paints. For some reason, the spray can paint, it's like the, uh, back here, I got my metallic, black metallic. Use that on Hobby Barnes build, and just, it just laid down. But yeah, this is acrylic. Would have never, in my wildest dreams, uh, expected that good of a turnout. Yeah. Along with the body, too. Yeah. Yep. Did a little bit up in the fender wells too. I don't think from what I see here, there's not gonna be a whole lot to show up in there, but did it anyway. And all of this is pretty much just uh well the seats, they're all glued in. This side bed here, it's just sitting there right now. The metal console is in which I need to do my gear shifter knob and steering wheel still needs to go in uh, this here is just yeah drive shaft is already glued in I've already lined it up with the uh, rear axle so it's all good and the exhaust manifolds are all lined up with the, the exhaust but yeah it would be my engine for right now. I still gotta do my distributor, but again, I think I'm cutting it out. There is absolutely, positively, no freaking way that's gonna be wired. But I've got her all painted up. Yeah, so that's all good. Uh, I'm going to clear coat that tomorrow. And then, I don't know, a uh, little bit of weathering probably. I've got, I've got over there. Uh, but yeah, that's almost everything. I've got my little pans, for my wheels. I've got that all taken care of tomorrow. Uh, I've got some stuff over here. Some battery, radiator, nice plate cover, rear view mirror, battery box, uh, washer fluid box. 
and radiator hoses. That's all the little things left to go on there. So, believe it or not, I'm moving along pretty darn good. Yo, you, you were not kidding, buddy. This thing goes to goes together pretty well. Yeah, I'm surprised my engine turned out as good as it did. Yeah, yeah. Helps when you got some nice little files. You can do some scraping on the paint exactly where you need to lay it in there and be done with it. So yeah, I don't want to go too far with it because I still got to put decals here and there. So we'll see. And, believe it or not, all of this, other than me using some Model Master acrylic paint for the, uh, the hoses, or not hoses, the belts, everything uh, is all airbrushed. Uh, these are all my splash paints, lacquer paints. So, all of this is, even my world backs wheels of course that's all folk art acrylic paint that's the only thing that's not lacquer the primer underneath it is, is my lacquer primer and all that too uh, I use gray primer of course for those and everything else here was the uh, red oxide so it turned out good so that's it I don't want to babble on any longer than I need to so when I have something else more to do like I said I still got the glass to do front lenses windows yeah Barker light things or whatever I'll get back with y'all give me another update then until then uh, y'all take care be safe and talk to everyone later